Hey everyone, my name is Nico and I am here today to give you my five tips to increase your MCAT score. I took this test two times and I was able to bring my score up by 11 points. I'm making this video to really help anyone out there who's either taking their MCAT for the first time and I don't want them to make the mistakes that I made or people who are taking it for the second time and really have to make sure they do well that second time. And to show people that it's 100% possible, you just have to stay positive, change your study methods, and your score can definitely go up. So my number one tip that I can give is to not take a class. The first time I took the MCAT, I used a course provided by my university. This class was somewhat helpful. I mean, the class had its pros and its cons. But the point about the class is that, is that the classes aren't tailored to your studying schedule. It's not tailored towards uh, what you need and what you need to focus on. For me, for example, I'm my strengths are bio and biochem. I didn't need to study so much for those sections, whereas I needed to put a lot of time and effort into my physical sciences, especially chemi general chemistry, because I didn't have such a good foundation in that. So for me, by taking a class, the class doesn't know this. And so I was wasting hours studying or sitting in a lecture on some type of biochemical pathway that I already knew when I should have been studying uh, orgo pathway, you know? So this is the biggest thing that I can tell you guys. You know yourself. You got this far in your career. You don't need a class to show you how to study for the MCAT. You just need to get the information and study it the way that has been working for you for the all the classes that you've taken in your undergrad career. If you're the type of person who does want to get a class just because you feel that you need the motivation or you need feel that if you spend the money on the class you're going to actually study because you put the money into it. then I would say to do what I did I got the Princeton Review I'm not sponsoring at all but I got their Princeton Review self-paced uh, self-paced course and was it necessary not really um, do I regret it not so much just because um, I really needed help with my physical sciences it was my second time around I wanted to make sure I had no excuses um, but I did only use it for the physical science section. The second tip that I have for you guys that made a huge difference for me was to study the MCAT during a period of time that you're only studying MCAT. Um, if you're studying MCAT while you're taking classes, I think that is 100% doable, but I don't think it's really healthy for your brain. I mean, you're going to be studying MCAT for, who knows, five hours a day, then you're going to go to lecture, then you're going to study the material for your lecture, and then you're going to have to balance very two big important things, your GPA and your MCAT score at the same time. I don't really recommend it at all. I really think that you need to be um, in a good mental state when you're either taking classes or taking your MCAT. And the best way to do that is by studying MCAT while you have a break, whether it be during winter break, during summer break, after you graduate, if you're planning to take a gap year. But by doing so, you're going to be able to really just focus on your MCAT. The way I studied was I studied for about uh, three months, four months, but I studied every day from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And after that, I was actually traveling at the time. I was just out and about. I was exploring. I was doing things that I really loved. And I think by doing that, I was able to um, balance that. MCAT life with my own life, my social life, with the things that I love to do, and it made my studying time way more effective. Now, this third thing that I did that I think is so important is to trust yourself and do what helps you and what's good for you. Um, for me specific, I'm referring to the car section. This car section is so hard for me. I scored a 122 the very first time I took the test, and the second time I scored a 127. That is a five point increase, and I think that what really helped me was not listening to other people. There's a lot of methods out there for cars and the method I use, I can make a separate video on that, is one that everyone advised against. But I had a few friends that did it, it worked for them and it worked for me. And uh, Maybe it's gonna work for you. What I did essentially was read the questions first, I map the questions out, then I go to the passage and then I go back to the questions. And I think that this is the most effective way to do cars. Um, I can make a separate video really going into detail for that in that and um, maybe it can help you guys out but really do what works for you. Everyone has their own method to reading the passage, to answering questions, whether it be in any of the sciences. You need to do what works for you and what you know 
is going to be good for you and what you know is effective for you because that's the only way you're going to do good on the MCAT. This fourth thing that I have to tell you guys is to only use double AMC material. I feel that you can use the other books just to get the content down, but you need to be taking double AMC practice tests, double AMC questions, anything that the double AMC has for you, you need to take it. A lot of people talk about the question paths and they tell you that they're too easy and that it's not worth taking those tests or those question packs because they're too simple. But if you really think about it, they're made by the test makers. It's the way, it's the same logic behind those questions. So you need to really go in on double AMC material, even do everything more than once because those are the questions that you're gonna find on your test. The Princeton Review, Kaplan, those test companies don't hit the mark on the questions. They test questions in a different way that is not representative at all. And for me at least, I found it to be super discouraged. So I would just go straight into double AMC material from the beginning, read the content and go straight to double AMC material. And I think that this is the best way to get used to the test questions. It helped me so much um, in all my sections. They all went up just by doing AM, double AMC material. The fifth tip that I have for you guys is to realize that MCAT isn't everything. To realize that you can still have fun, that you can still be a person, that you can still have social media while you have MCAT um, going on while you're studying for the MCAT. Uh, the first time I took MCAT, I deleted everything. I deleted my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Facebook, and I thought that it was just going to give me more time to study, but what it did was just stress me out because I had no outlet. So make sure you have an outlet. Make sure you're having fun, that you're taking care of yourself, that you're doing the things that you love, and if you're mentally happy, you're going to be able to perform better and go in harder when you're actually studying, and I think that was the best thing for me. So real quick, before I go, I want to talk about content and how I actually went over content. I think that a lot of people don't under, don't explain that and it was something that took me a few times to really understand. So what I did was I used the Princeton Review books for the physical sciences because I felt that I needed the most help with that. And I would read the book, so here's the Gen Chem book, and I would put at the top corner after every chapter a post-it with the main information that I learned, right? So here's periodic trends and then you could see a few pages go by there was nothing really that important and then later in the book I have um, here you can see rate changes um, just little information the main takeaway concepts that I learned from the chapter are all on these post-it notes so I would go through the book make post-it notes put them at the top page top of the page and I would read them every single night until the whole book all the main concepts were ingrained in my brain that I could memorize what chapter each concept came from essentially right I would do just like that for all the physical sciences and once I did that I just went straight to double AMC and I went straight into doing the practice problems uh, something else that I did was because I bought the self-paced course I did all the practice problems that came with the Princeton uh, with the Princeton class. For bio, biochem, I read the Kaplan books. I think the Kaplan books are perfect for bio, gen bio, and biochem. I also used the Princeton review for biochem, and I typed out all the notes. That's how I always done it. I typed the notes, and then I reread them over and over and over again. And once I did that, I basically learned all my information that I thought I could get from the book. Then I went to double AMC. Once I was in double AMC, every time I would see a word, a question, a concept, a vocab, anything that was new to me, I would go and look it up and put it in a book. And I had a notebook where I had each section being um, a different part of the test, cars, physical, um, psych, social, and I would just jot it down in there. And eventually I just had a huge list of new information that I learned. And before going to bed every night, I would reread that list of things that I learned that was so helpful for me and finally for psych social I would just read the Princeton review book and use a document that I found online called uh, I think it's the 86 page OCD version of psych social something like that I'll link it in the down bar if you read those two together you're pretty much set I read the book I made handwritten notes for that one I handwritten ha I hand wrote essentially almost the whole book um, and it was so helpful for me and my score went up by 11 points so don't give up stay positive ask me questions in the down bar i can make another video to explain my cars method um 
more in depth and i wish you the best of luck through youtube videos through motivation i realized that it was possible and that i could do it and i did it so i really wish the best of luck for everyone don't be afraid to ask me questions it's why i'm here follow me on, on instagram a little shout out for myself subscribe and i can't wait to hear from you guys